education forward. Now is the time, and this is the bill. For years, the other side has come up with excuses. I am sick and tired of their excuses when our children's welfare is at stake. There are some people who accept bullying in our schools just to advance a political agenda of their own and that is wrong our kids should be above politics you know it's pretty hard to concentrate in your algebra class if you are constantly being humiliated because you're overweight you walk with a limp you have a speech impediment you're short because you have acne or you're the girl on the all-male wrestling team as a high school assistant principal, I have dealt with these situations daily. We need clear guidelines and policies established that protect all children, especially the most likely to be harassed. This is common sense. As legislators, it should be our priority to protect and advocate for all of God's children. This is a matter of school safety, and it's a matter of morality. School safety should be our priority, and it is our moral obligation to protect all children. In our schools, we try to instill in our children character, integrity, and values. What does it say to our character, our integrity? and our values as legislators if we don't protect all children now. The opponents of this bill believe that some kids are just not worth protecting. That is wrong and they should be ashamed. It is time that North Carolina stands up for all children so that each child can develop her or his God-given talents and abilities. I am so proud to support this bill and I encourage all of you to support it. Thank you. 